I've been wasting my time I don't know why I can't get you out of my mind And if I find a way to get it when I do it I can live it and forget it Cause I hate how much I love you or I hate how you just put me in my feelings I just wish you understood the gravity but you got low sinners I guess it's better just to live it and forget it than to live it and remember I've been wasting my time I don't know why I can't get you out of my mind What's going on guys? Now I'm so lost, Got Cannon in here, Ryan, JZM, 808, Kalani Miller, Kyson, what's up? Daniel, Daniel's in here have you guys been diving lately? Alright, what's going on guys? How are you guys doing? Yeah, I seen that Uku man. What an awesome fish. What's going on Ryan? Olive is over here. I don't know how I say your last name. It's, my screen's kind of small. Maybe I need glasses. Fifita. All right. Cool. So, um, yeah, this is going to be an experimental. I, f I totally forgot to do to do a live stream on Tuesday. Um, yeah, so I'm, my apologies. I was hoping to get a video out by then, but we're doing it today. Two days later. Um, so what what's going to happen is we're only going to be live for about... A half an hour and then I've got a spearfishing vlog going live on the channel at seven o'clock so um, what I want to do is kind of see how much viewers are in here and then we can go and switch over to the spearfishing vlog and we can watch it together and then I'll put the link to that um, inside of the chat and it's also in the description um, but I'll put the link to it in the chat later on in the live stream but you know, let's do some Q&A let's talk story hang out I mean I'm here for 25 30 minutes and i'll be in the chat during the live stream so pretty cool if you guys want if you guys want to want me to watch some some content on youtube on here we can watch it together i have the um i have my good software not the bad one that i use that one live stream so we can do that as well if you guys haven't seen already on top of the Instagram page I have um, I'm now selling sticker packs let me show you right here so the one that I'm selling now is the gold sticker pack and what I'm gonna do is gonna do I'm gonna start doing weekly giveaways on Instagram um, I've got to figure out how I'm going to monitor and kind of um, and kind of judge everybody's stuff i'm going to do them in the form of um, contests like invasive contests weekly best catch of the week but i need to figure out how i'm going to format it obviously because um people can cheat doing that it's going to be a lot a lot based on honor system but we'll see if we can get that going matt jack is back with another ten dollar super chat thanks man huh. i appreciate it um from northern california I used to live in Northern California in um, in Gilroy and Monterey for like four or five years when I was playing baseball out there. Um, but back to the sticker packs. Actually, Mad Jack, you should, you should DM me. I'll send you some of these for free. But these are the ones that it's going to come with for now. Um, you got fish all, Dive All Day, Fish All Night, which I have on a shirt. We've got this um, Golden Ulua sticker. And then we have my new logo design that I made, um, Fish and Dive Hawaii. Uh, I'm not changing my logo. This is just something that I'm going to start putting on shirts and hats. Um, but I'm starting it off with sticker packs. So if you guys want to get a sticker pack, you can check it out on the website. Um, but if you want to win them for free, I'm going to be doing a lot of giveaways in the near future. And there's going to be more colors coming soon as well. So let's catch up on what's going on here in the chat room. Again, Mad Jack, man, I really, I really appreciate that. 
It's incredible. Um, man, Mr. Gray says, man, I wish I could spear the ocean, the ocean here, bro. I have to stick them in the river. I've, I've never tried diving in a river. Usually isn't, isn't like lakes usually the thing. I've never seen any, um, spearfishing river videos. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be some good content, man. Um, Kalani Miller asks, do you ever plan on targeting Onos or Mahi Mahis? Hopefully in the future, I have a big enough gun to do it now with the 120 centimeter. Which direction right there, you can see it with the white handle and the reel. Um, that gun is definitely big enough to shoot at least Mahi Mahis and Onos. Um, so yeah, I don't think I need a breakaway shaft or or like a, um, a blue water float for it. Um, I think I can handle with the reel, but I do have some extra gear just in case. But hopefully in the near future, Probably um, in in late summer, once all of this craziness goes away, and yeah. Um, that would be a sick video. Yeah, I would. What's up, Evan Outdoors from Australia, man? So many great YouTubers from that area. Um, I'm pretty sure what what are those guys' names? Um. They're like younger guys, but they kind of stopped making videos. They got like millions and millions of views. Is it Nick? Nick Fry? I don't know. Maybe. Um, but obviously, Young Bloods has an awesome channel. Um, and I do watch some other um, YouTubers as well. I just can't think of them. Off the top of my head, um, there's another one that I follow that's like they do spear fishing and fishing stuff too. But I forget. Lakes are good, but the river is challenging because of the current. You kind of just catch the current and float down. That makes a lot of sense. So do you, do you um do you have to watch like what are the conditions you look for in regards to that? Because that's pretty interesting. Maybe maybe a lot similar to what we look for here. Like wind, obviously rain is gonna affect the river. Um, but yeah, that'd be that'd be kind of cool. What's up? Jessica Surratt. <laughs> Forgot I did those things in the top left. Um, bro, you should do diving from a kayak. Yeah, I did. I did one episode. It was my, actually my second spearfishing vlog. We shot a Uhu and that might have been it. That was when I almost got attacked by like a thousand little little um, squids. You should check that episode out. <laughs> I think it was my second spearfishing vlog here on the channel. But I did one kayak dive um, last week. Actually, the dive that I'm featuring tonight, we were supposed to go on a kayak dive that day. And I thank goodness we didn't because the wind was just terrible. And that's obviously not good for kayak diving. Um, but the water was clean, though. So, yeah. Mad Jack says, been Jones in to go fish, but haven't been able to here for a while. Your vids get me through. That's awesome, man. Um, do you watch my buddies out there like Taku and, and, um, and Daniel? Um, cause I'm not, he told me that, I forget if they told me that you guys can fish or you cannot fish, but they've been posting updates. Um, I'm not too sure. I've only been fishing there like twice. The 75 centimeters gun, good size for reef fish like Pachis and Vekis. That's perfect, man. That's a perfect size reef gun. Especially if you're younger, a 75 centimeter is going to last you a while, even when you're you're an adult and upgrade to bigger guns you're always gonna have the 75 centimeter gun on you like my friend i always give him crap for it because he has like every time we go diving he has one gun then he has a second gun and then he has a whole gun and sometimes he'll bring a three prong so he's got like four weapons it's like bro like what <laughs> you're trying to shoot two fish with each each gun but um yeah that you always have that option when you when you have multiple weapons <laughs> Teradera Bros. I'm not sure if that's the channel, but I'll look into it. Do you know what diving store has the cheapest buoys? Um, Westside Dive always has competitive prices. Um, Hanapal, in my experience, especially with fishing stuff, um, they're always usually a little more expensive, but I check out Westside Dive for sure. Um, but yeah, you can always look online. But um, definitely, Westside Dive has all the stuff that we like to use here in Hawaii, but I know Hanapa'a did have like sets where 
it came with everything you need to start off with diving. It had the lifeguard buoy, with which already had the straps and stuff. Um, but this was the one in Per Ridge, which which I think they closed down. So um, I would just go look, just go look and compare prices, and see which stores are even open right now. Um, you gotta go when it's sunny and low winds. If you go too late in the summer, the algae makes it too cloudy. It's an awesome challenge though, because fish don't approach you. You gotta hunt them. Yeah, man, that's crazy. What kind of fish do you target in rivers? And do you prefer spearfishing in rivers over lakes? Um, obviously we only spearfish in oceans over here, but I get at least you don't have to worry about sharks. So, like, what are some other things that? Maybe hazardous. <laughs> that's if that's a good question. Catch and cook Hawaii. What settings do you use for your GoPro when diving? Um, I actually seen your comment in a recent video. Um, but see if since you guys are here, I didn't announce it when I actually filmed the video, but I meant to do it. I just forgot. But the video is like 29, 30 minutes. So, um. <clears throat> So I just didn't want to put it in and make the video longer. But in this upcoming spearfishing episode, I mess with these settings. Um, I have, these are the two GoPros I use right here. This is a Hero 7 Black. I didn't get the 8 yet. Um, I just don't feel the need to. And then here's the Hero 4 uh, Silver, which I think is the best overall GoPro they've ever made. So with the Silver, let's see if it's going to power on. No, it's still, die it's still dead from my dive. But, um... I usually keep it on 1080 at 60 frames per second. This past dive, I did it at 2.7K at 24 um, frames per second, which is really, it was just 24 frames per second is like, they say it's the most cinematic. It's the most realistic to like what humans eyes actually are capable of. So I just wanted to test it out and it didn't work out well. It's just kind of really shaky. Um, and GoPro footage already is pretty shaky, so it just made it a little more shaky. So definitely, I would use 1080p or higher, 2.7K, um, and do at least um, 60 frames per second, just so you get really smooth footage. And it makes it even better when you do um, when you do slow motion because you can break down all those little frames um, versus doing 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second. So I hope that makes sense. 1080p at 60, at least 60 frames per second. Also, the higher resolution you go to, 2.7K, 4K. I don't think the Hero 4 is capable of 4K at 60 frames. Um, I think the Hero 7 Black is, but um, the higher resolution you go, the more storage you're going to be using on your SD card. So um, it's not going to matter if you're filming stuff and the SD card runs out. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, just keep that into account. 1080p is perfect resolution. Um, you don't really need to go that much higher. Mad Jack, Evan Outdoor says, yep, I follow Outdoor Chef Life. Super cool guy. Watch, uh, Mad Jack says, watch every one of them. Religi religiously, we can hear, we can hear in there, and I just haven't been able to get out. <laughs> yeah, uh, I've been watching a lot of... Um, Matt's videos. I don't know Matt personally. I just know Taku and Daniel. Um, but I know Daniel, Daniel said he went to high school with Matt. And I know Taku knows him as well. They've done videos in the past. Um, but I've been watching a lot of his videos recently. Um, the last couple that he posted as well as uh, some older ones. Because I've been looking at doing a crab snaring video in the near future. I just got to look for where it went. I had it on me for like a week and I lost it somewhere. Um, but that's what happens when you have a three-year-old son that likes to play with all your stuff. Canon says, I use a GoPro Hero 7 Black with 1080p and 120 frames per second. And it comes out amazing. Yeah, see, that's that's a solid one. 1080p is all you need. The higher frames per second you go, the, easy, the more smooth the footage is going to look. So, yeah. Um... I follow Dan and Taku. They haven't been out, but other NorCal anglers have been surf and kayak fishing. Um, Nick Fish, that's a guy that um, he, he's been posting videos, I'm pretty sure. And Die Hard Fishing. Smaller um, Bay Area fishing channels. Ish with Fish is another one. Uh, 
There's another guy. I forgot his name. He's really funny though. Uh, it's funny because they're all Asian. All the all the West West Coast um, fish fishing um, sub, uh, YouTubers and and spearfishing YouTubers are Asian. <laughs> um, Evan says, "Sorry, should say subscribe on here, not follow." Where does it say that? Not sure. Oh yeah, has ha, blah 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 has followed. Yeah, I know, I know, cause on Streamlabs, uh, they do. It's mostly for like Twitch people. Um, so yeah, that might be why it says that. <laughs> oh, are you talking about? Um, are you talking about? You said subscribe, and not follow. It's the same thing. <laughs> do you watch Daniel Man? Yes, I do. He has he has great content. He has he he has really good editing. That's what I like about his videos. And he shoots monster fish. I really like the um, halibut one he did. That was a really good episode. Do a video in Maui, bro. Uh, yeah, after after it's safe to travel, maybe. He's a beast. We target carp here in Oregon, and yeah, bro, river is way better than lakes. In my opinion, the biggest hazard rivers have is getting wedged on a rock from the current. Shallow water blackout blackout is killer too. Oh, okay. That doesn't seem that fun. Uh having a shallow rock get wedged. But that sounds kinda rare. And we target carp. Last time I went fishing in California, there was like this German guy that was fishing for carp using corn kennels, like corn like a can of corn, corn kennels on a hook like he was just popping the corn on the hook and he had like two three big carps already um i don't know how good they are of eating especially the ones that was in the lake that um we seen them at but he did say that he makes sausage out of the meat and it was a german guy who made sausage so uh, must have been pretty good <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see What's up, Chison? Damn, I'm at work right now. That sucks. <laughs> Did you like the episode with Outdoor Chef Fly? Yeah, that episode of Taco was really was really fun. Um, the first time I met him was in California with him and his girlfriend. Um, super cool guys. Every time I every time I did a video with him, he always he always gave me beer. So yeah. Best GoPro housing. Um, I don't know. I, I don't have any housing for the Hero 7 Black because I mainly use this for vlogging when I don't want to bring my bring my um, big camera around. So I use the Hero 7 Black just to throw it in my bag and throw the mic on top and we, and I can get some pretty high quality vlogging videos. Um, but I use the Hero, Hero um, 4 Silver with the standard GoPro housing um, that it comes with. Um, I, I just don't feel the need to buy the $50 uh, housing for the Hero 7 Black. And I've had issues with the Black freezing and stuff. I haven't had any issues with the Hero 4 or at least this one that I have in particular. Um, so I trust the Hero 4 Silver a lot better. Especially when I want to try to make sure I get the content when I'm out there spear fishing. <laughs> um, Halibut. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. Yeah, I just use a Yi light most of the time, half the price of GoPro. I just couldn't justify the money at the time. If I grow, then I'll invest more. Yeah, man, uh, I've never tried the Yi light, um, but it might be something I could consider just to get better angles on the channel. Maybe um, I have gone through a couple GoPros, and trust me, like look right here. You see, you see this stuff right here. This is a this is a dead Hero Four silver and it's all from one my gopro 4 housing leaked and so i got another cheap one off my friend for like 30 bucks and then i put it in the same gopro housing thinking i fix it and it leaked again and it just corroded the whole thing and then when you break it apart like this you just realize how simple and cheap looking they are um i mean don't get me wrong gopros are great but they they're making a huge markup off of these off of these cameras but they can because they're they lead the market. This is pretty much their own exclusive market. 
Hero 4 was the bomb. I think it was the best Gold Pro they've ever made, honestly. I have the Hero 7 Silver, and it's very good um, in the water. See, maybe maybe I can I can try it out. I've, I've seen the cheaper knockoff water housings, but I'm one of those guys where I look at reviews, and then I see a negative review, and then I just don't buy it. Like, that's... It's kind of like a good thing because I would just waste a lot of money if I just went with the good reviews. But I'm one of those guys that looks like five pages through Amazon reviews. And then I'll just I'll just look for only the bad ones and I'll read it and I'll just be like, ah, ah. And then I'll look for another product. And the other product is probably has the same amount of bad reviews and the same things. And I just decide not to get it at all. That's, that's how I am pretty much everything. Because I've considered buying a housing for this. Um probably a dozen times but every time i'm a gopro i just i'm on i'm on the amazon website i just can't pull the trigger so yeah if you can if you guys can get a hold of one of these hero fours get the one with the screen on the back this is the best one the silver the dude that sold this one to me tried to tell me that this was a black because i know the hero four black doesn't have the screen on the back and he's like, no, it's the black because it has a screen. And I was like, man, you're not from my generation where these came out when I already graduated high school. So I, I know which one is which. Um, but yeah, it was still a really good price. He's, I think it was like 100 bucks, 120 bucks. But yeah, guys, so today's episode took me about a week to make. Last week, Tuesday, I went spearfishing. Um, and then I iced the fish down and then two days later I cleaned it and I forgot I defrosted pork chops. So I didn't cook them that night. So I just froze the fish and then like a week later I got more ideas for the video. Like, oh, instead of just the basic fried fish recipe, I'm going to try something else. So then, uh, I just modified the video and did all spent the whole day yesterday editing it and it came out to about 30 minutes i was going to try to cut it down but i haven't done a video i haven't done a catch and cook vlog in a while so i just figure i just leave it how it is because i'm perfectly happy with it and you'll see i added some different things to this episode that um i i'm gonna start implementing in the channel just to kind of improve the content ryan says aftermarket housings kind of suck especially on amazon yeah i mean my logic behind it is i know the i know the gopro housing one is overpriced for sure but i trust it you know what i mean like am i gonna trust putting a 350 dollar camera inside of a housing that saves me 15 dollars and and end up losing 350 dollars worth of my investment in the first place so that's something to think about um but yeah i just see you got me thinking about getting a, a housing now for my gopro hero 7 but yeah it's not a good idea i think the next thing i'm gonna get is like lights for the background right here i kind of set up like a makeshift studio over here um i got my all my poles and my my guns and stuff in the back all my plugs and the posters just put up my friend's wetsuit up there the venture wetsuits so i'm gonna start adding some lighting but um i'm i'm debating if i should add some more of these um strip lights or if i should just get like one of those smaller rgb lights that kind of can throw some color on the back wall i don't know what do you guys think <laughs> Kenneth says, damn, Ryan Myers has over 11K subs. He's blowing up. Yeah, man, that guy, he puts out awesome content. And when YouTube sees that, especially since he's been so consistent, um, you just have to ride the wave. You know what I mean? He's just going to just gonna keep pushing out your content. And if you, his content is great. You know, like he has really good editing, really good storytelling in his videos. Um, and that's what it takes to, to be good here on YouTube. Like I try to... Like I strive to make high quality content, but for my audience, I'm I'm more in it to help um, 
like the beginners and stuff so i try to mix it up with the fishing content and doing like different gear reviews um but yeah man he he's putting out some awesome content and you know what for all of us guys that are making spearfishing um videos here in hawaii we can only benefit from that because he's getting a lot of eyeballs to hawaii spearfishing and if you're putting content out there then people are gonna click on those videos as well so yeah he's doing he's doing great for hawaii spearfishing and really representing our state well james cuz projector throw up taco fish photos <laughs> that's a good one you know what i actually just bought a um, ink for my printer. I have like an inkjet printer so I can actually print out photos on here. Just gotta um, buy the paper for it. The, fo the photocopy paper. But yeah, it's almost time for our video premiere. It's gonna be like five minutes um, until we log off. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up the link in the comment section right now. And then we can watch it together. Let's see. ICG, can you shout out? Can you shout out me, please? I just started my channel and do fishing and diving. I'm editing my first video now. And any subs help. It would be much appreciated. All right. So go sec check out ICG Fishing um, after you watch... Um, my live stream <laughs> or my premiere obviously so that is the link for the premiere um if you guys go click it it's just going to show that the premiere is going to be a countdown so yeah Canon says, sort, love, stream. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what you meant there, man. Short stream. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be a short live stream. Yeah. So I'm going to go live on Tuesday. Even though I missed this past Tuesday, I'm going to go live on Tuesday this coming tuesday um but yeah i did i try i attempted to do a fishing episode and it just went just went bad just did not did not do well oh, okay i think what's going on here i think i know what's going on here hold on fam maybe new one try that one <laughs> Shucks, wanted, wanted you to match my sneak peek of my new video. <laughs> Do you eat the obake veke or no? Um, I don't really shoot veke um, anymore. But, yeah. Um, I used to eat them. I, f I think it's the head or the tail that you don't eat. One or, one or the other. Just avoid both of them. Let's see, how's the premiere doing over here? Sorry, I'm trying to check on the premiere to see if everything's... Oh, it says it's private. Yeah, you're right. Hold on. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. McDonald's. You guys been to McDonald's lately? I went like a few days ago to buy my son chicken nuggets. And, oh, oh, I see what's going on here, guys. Boom. Okay. 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 The live stream, all my settings didn't save. That's why. So maybe check out, it might be the same link. <laughs> um. <laughs> It's the head. Then nightmares hit different. I don't remember if having the um, 
having the nightmares. I can't remember. It's been that long since I've ate one. What do you? Who do you think will win at UFC 249 this weekend? Who's fighting? Is it Tony and Khabib? Is that the fight? Not sure. I think it is. All right, guys. So, Tony and Gaethje. Um, Tony then. Tony Ferguson. All right, guys. My premiere is going to be starting soon. Um, so, yeah. Go click on the link. Check it out. Um, and then I'll be there chatting with you guys. I'll see you guys on the next live stream. Next week, Tuesday. Right? Aloha. Shoots mahalos. See you later. Bye-bye. Go watch the premiere.